to me. No! No! no. Tabitha Lennox! He knows your name, Princess! Yes, yes, Dark Forces. I heard you. I'm at your service. What is it that you want me to do? Where is the pain? Where is the suffering? Well, all the horoscopes that I charted say that abject misery is on its way. No! It must be here now! You must not let happiness take root or allow love to bloom. You must destroy it all now, Tabitha Lennox, or be destroyed yourself! Hey, you know, I've never been to a bridal shower. I hope yours is next. I have to be good. I have to be good. I just don't think I can do this. Miguel is mine. He belongs to me. <laughs> I love everything about weddings. I mean, you know, they're such happy, romantic occasions. This one's going to be perfect. But no wedding will ever compare to yours and mine. No. That was the happiest day of my life. Mm. All right, man. Who's going to start? So that's your husband, Grace. So, big night, huh? Are you ladies ready for the bachelorette party? It's gonna be so fun, <sighs> isn't it, Wit? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I can't wait. The only really bad thing is that you and I won't be together. Oh, after tonight, we'll be together forever. Mm. I'm gonna go pay the bill. Be right back. Okay. You know you still love Chad, don't you? Whitney, I can see it in your eyes. Tell him. Tell him how you feel. The two of you could get back together again. Oh, I cannot believe Julian did this to me. Had a, had a flunky serve me with divorce papers. Oh, well, if he thinks he's going to cast me aside, just put me away. He has got another thing coming. I am not going anywhere. There will be no divorce. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is it. Hey, but you know what? Mm -hmm. The next time I see you, you're going to be walking down the aisle on the way to becoming my wife. It can't come soon enough for me. Hey, you know what, though? Uh... Thought just hit me. I come here after the bachelor party, you know. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Much as I would love it, there's no way you're staying here tonight. It's bad luck to break tradition. Okay. But, uh, you gotta make me a promise then. <laughs> after tonight, we'll never spend a night without each other. I promise. I never want to be away from you. <laughs> Calm down, Julian. How calm do you expect me to be when we're about to kill my own sister? I'm through discussing this. We are implementing the plan. Sheridan's wedding ring has been painted with poison, and when Louise slides it onto her finger, she will die. Louise will never get over it, and I'll be rid of them both once and for all. Sorry to take your man away from Sheridan, but it's party time. Wow, he was just leaving, weren't you, Louise? 
Was I? <laughs> uh, it's not like you two aren't gonna see each other soon. But my clock's only a few hours. Even that seems like forever. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go wait in the car. But seriously, we gotta get going. The guys are waiting at the youth center. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guess this is it till tomorrow. I guess so. I have fun with your shower. <laughs> hey, what? just hit me. Are you guys gonna have a stripper at your party tonight? Oh, yeah, I don't know what those guys got planned, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You know what? I don't even think they do that anymore. I don't know. Those bachelor parties get pretty wild. No, trust me. This one will be tame. <laughs> Well, still, why don't you let me hold on to the rings tonight? I'll make sure Miguel gets them before the ceremony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait for you to put this on my finger. As soon as Sheridan is dead, our problems will be over. Never again will we have to worry about Luis trying to dig up Crane family secrets and finding out what really happened to his father. God forbid he ever discovers that. Oh, you bastard! You are not going to get away with this! Destroy love, Tabitha Lennox! Destroy happiness! I'm working on it! Work harder! Or you yourself will be annihilated! Annihilated? Timmy does not like the sounds of that! Oh, you think I do? I'm having palpitations. Well, stop palpitating and tell Timmy what's going on. Who was that? That was a representative from the dark side. Our friends in the basement aren't happy. They want more pain and more suffering. Timmy thought the horse could predict all kinds of misery. Yes, but that prediction included me. I was supposed to suffer too. So we have to be very careful and, and not upset our friends in the basement any more than they already are. What was that? Oh, don't tell, tell me the things come back! No, 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 that's, that's downstairs. Oh, yeah. Is it? After. The kids are back. And they're having fun. Fun? Fun? Oh, no, Timmy, that's terrible. No, no, we've got to do something, and fast. Our friends in the basement want shrieks of pain and moans of suffering. They want tears, not laughter. Hey. Oops. How are you doing, Mrs. Bennett? Well, how does it look like I'm doing, Mr. Bennett? Absolutely fantastic. Hmm. No more strange vibes? No, not a one. I don't know what it was. Nothing, I guess. God. Hmm. What on earth is going uh. on here? Oh, <laughs> Tabitha, I'm so sorry. I meant to ask you, but we were so busy getting ready. For what? Well, I'm throwing a bridal shower for Teresa and Sheridan. You know, I'd have it at my own house if, if I had a house. I hope you don't mind. Mind? <laughs> Why should I mind? Uh. Short lobby, frightfully festive. Yeah, good, then I hope you'll be there. Uh, me? Yeah, it'll be fun. Word again. We have to find a way to end all this fun. Or our friends in the basement are going to get very, very angry. Whoa. Oh. Hey, listen, uh, Miguel and I are going to head over to Luis and Ethan's party. Okay, well, give him my love. Maybe I'll sneak in your room later. Ooh, I'll wait up. Have a good time tonight. Ah, uh, I'm going to try, but. I'll miss you. Me too. 
I'll see you first thing in the morning. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> well, you guys have a good time. We'll see you soon, and uh, you girls have a good time. Hmm. <laughs> good night, Mrs. Bennett. Bye. that you still love Charlie. So don't let him go. Tell him how you feel. Teresa, I can't. I promised that if my sister pulled through, I would end things with Chad. Now Simone is alive, and I'm gonna keep my word. Besides, it seems like Chad is doing just fine without me. No, he is, and he's just talking to that girl. She means nothing to him. Ladies, we better get going if you want to make our bachelorettes and bachelor parties tonight. Are you ready? Okay, dude. Ready to rock and roll? Mmm. After I give this beautiful woman one last kiss. Whitney. Enjoy your party. Well, um, you too. private lives. I believe you and I have spoken before. Yeah, and I've been waiting for your call. Does that mean you have evidence? That you can prove Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald sent the email confirming that Ethan was Sam Bennett's son? Well, actually, the only thing I was able to confirm was that the email came from Teresa's computer. So you're going to run the story? Damn right we are. I just wish I could see Ethan's face when he finds out that the person who ruined his life was his fiance. Yeah, that should be a sight to see. It's a moment that I'm not going to miss. I can't wait to see Teresa get what she deserves. Oh, all right, all right. I think I'll take it easy on you, seeing you're going to have to save your energy for your wedding night. Ooh. Bro, I'm not even gonna break a sweat shutting you down. Oh, oh my mercy. Let's see it happen. Oh, oh there we go. Let's see what you got. Come on. Take, take him. Take him. Take him. Where are you gonna go? Come on. Oh. 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 So tomorrow is your uh, big wedding night, too, brother. How you feel? You ready? It seems like I've been waiting forever to be with Teresa. <laughs> it's a uh, first for you, huh? I mean, you know, having a way to. Make love to a woman you're already in love with. Mm, no, I sure didn't wait with Gwen. No, oh, I feel you, man. I feel you. I never really waited much either, you know what I mean? You know, I'd meet a girl, we hit it off, end up in bed, you know? It's always been like that. But this relationship with Whitney, man, it's been, um, it's been a lot different. Mm. Well, you know, as surprised as I am to say this, I I'm glad I waited with Teresa. It's just going to make our wedding night that much more special for her and for me. That's nice, man. I don't think I'll have a chance to be with Whitney. She don't want nothing to do with me. Look, she still cares about you, Chad. She's gonna change her mind. Well, I ain't counting on it, all right? I mean, you know, I still love her and everything, but, um, you know, it's time to face reality. Man. I ain't gonna wait around for something that ain't gonna happen, you know? Oh, get it! Yeah, so it's time to move on. Oh. Have me served with divorce papers? How dare you? Oh, come now, Ivy. You're a bright woman. You couldn't possibly think Julian would stay married to a woman who tried to pass off another man's bastard son as a crane? Yeah, you are despicable. Be that as it may, 
Julian made his intentions clear from the start. He's going to divorce you. The sooner, the better. Oh, that isn't going to happen, Julian. I won't allow it. <laughs> Brava. <laughs> Brava. <laughs> oh, I love that fire, dear. Too bad you didn't have a touch of it in the bedroom, but the truth is, you're a cold fish. Oh, really, Julian? Or is it just that you leave women cold? Unfortunately, your little outburst is all for naught. I don't need your approval to get a divorce. It matters not one whit what you want. I'm going to rid myself of you as fast as I possibly can. In fact, I'm going to the islands in a couple of days to take care of it. Personally, you're done for. Finished. It's not a damn thing you can do about it. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Julian. For once, you've shown some backbone. <laughs> now I expect you to show the same strength as we move forward on the Sheridan matter. There will be no waffling or dragging one's feet. You will kill her. Father, you're talking about my sister. She is also my daughter, but you don't see me getting emotional, having a bout of conscience. No, I don't see that. Of course not. I don't let emotions get in the way. That's true. I take whatever steps necessary to protect my family and myself, even if it means killing my own flesh and blood. Falling apart, Pilar. I mean, I've, I've lost it all. I, I've lost Sam, the only man I have ever loved, and now Julian is going to divorce me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Perhaps it, it is for the best. <gasps> it's not about Julian. I don't care about Julian. I despise that man. It's just you know, my life, my position. I, I'm going to lose it all. And, I know a little bit I have left. That's going to be taken away, too. You are a strong woman, Mrs. Crane. You will get through this. You know, maybe it's not a good idea that you go to the bridal shower. It may be difficult for you. No, Pilar, I have to go. You do realize that Grace is the one giving the party, and since Sam and her are back together, she will be glowing with love and happiness, and for you to see that... No, I need to. Go, I need to. I need to talk to Grace. There's some things we have to discuss. Grace, you all right? No, I, I keep having this strange feeling like, like something's going to happen. I just don't know what. I'm sure you're just tired. Of, you've worked so hard putting this party together. <laughs> you're right. I'm probably just tired. <laughs> I am so glad that your fortune was right. Two rides for two grooms. Oh, it's going to be the most wonderful day ever. <laughs> and then the wedding night. It'll be the first time that Ethan and I make love. It'll be the first time that I've, I've, I've ever made love. Mm -hmm. I want everything to be perfect, Sharon. Oh, it will be, honey. I was nervous the first time I made love to Louise. You were? Yeah. I mean, you know, the first time you make love to the man you love, it, it's so special that you just want everything to be perfect. Sometimes I kind of wish Louise and I had waited. You know, so our wedding night was our first time together. Well, I'm glad that we waited. And even more glad that I don't have to wait much longer. <laughs> I love Ethan so much. What in the world was that? It sounded like it came from the basement or something. Oh, that? Oh, that's nothing to worry about. That's just probably my old pipes again. Hot stuff! Yeah. 
come and get it, girls. Hmm. Trouble is coming. Not my words to me. Big, big trouble. Oh, there he goes. Oh! I would have that one. I'm sure you would. <laughs> you, hey, just a little more practice, Reese. Yeah, that jumper's really coming along, bro. Dude, <laughs> Reese, one of these days you're gonna hit one. Yeah, just make sure it's not against me, okay? <laughs> well, I hate to cut this evening short, gentlemen, but I've got to take some more sodas over the girl's shower. I promised Grace I'd be able to before it got too late. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna pack it into. Oh, you packed it in a long time ago, Ace. Ooh. Bro, how are you even gonna say that? I stuffed you like what, a hundred times? <laughs> in your dreams, man. Yeah. Anyways. <sighs> Hey, uh, good luck tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thanks a lot. Hey, I heard that you uh, asked Kay and Jessica to be part of the wedding. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy they could be a part of it. Look, I only want the best for you, Ethan. And I'm sure that you and Teresa are going to have a lifetime of happiness together. Thanks. That means a lot. Light it the night before you get married, and if it burns down by itself, then your love is meant to be forever. But if it burns out before then, oh, you know, my love is forever. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> That's what you think. Uh, does anyone have a match? I want to light the love candle. Oh, you know, I saw some in the kitchen. I'll go get some. Okay, I'm good. Come on. <laughs> Poor little lad. You must be utterly humiliated with all these stupid foes plastered all over you. Humiliated? Is Tabby kidding? Cherry called Timmy cute. Oh. Isn't that sweet? No. Oh, little cease being sweet if these fools continue to be jolly, jolly, happy sap. Now, don't you go anywhere, Tabitha, because there's more presents to open. That's pretty I don't even have a gift. Of course, I didn't know there was going to be a party. How can I keep up this sweet little old lady with a heart of gold act if I haven't even bothered to get the bride's presents? I think we'll have to look in the attic, see what we can find up there, Timmy. One is on its way! Hello, Grace. Grace, I would like to talk to you. It'll only take a moment. I want to apologize for all the pain I've caused you and Sam. Going after your husband was, um... I know what it was, Ivy. I was selfish. I was unthinking, not to mention very, very, very wrong. Grace, I know you'll never be my friend. I don't expect that. I just hope that someday maybe you can forgive me. If you really mean what you say, I will forgive you. You know, Ivy, when I lost my baby, I was devastated. I lashed out, I said some terrible things, I even cursed you. I was wrong to do that. I wish I could take it back. I 
I only wish you well. Grace is still unaware of the power she has. She thinks she can take her curse back, but she can't. And that curse isn't only coming true for Ivy. Some of it will come back at Grace herself. I've waited long enough. It's time, Grace. It's time. What if another one of your friends from the basement pops up? I don't know, Timmy. I suppose we'll just have to try to appease them. But there are things afoot. That Gwen is definitely up to something with Teresa. And Grace's curse is not only going to cause problems for Ivy, it's going to cause problems for Grace herself. Well, surely that, that'll satisfy our friends for a while, won't it? Oh! Oh! Those would make swell wedding gifts. Ah, uh, not a good idea. Oh, she loves wind chimes. <laughs> They're so pretty. Oh. What's that moaning sound? Oh. You can't do the wind chimes. Well, these aren't your ordinary wind chimes, Timmy. These have special powers. They predict the future. Right now, they seem to be predicting that someone is in terrible pain. Perfect. Simple and perfect. <laughs> I told Luis, you know, since he'll be at his bachelor party, that I would hold on to it. <laughs> I didn't want to take any chances on anything happening to it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> I don't mean to sound superstitious, but in the old country, it's considered bad luck to put the ring on your finger before you're married. And then you can never take it off. Mm. And I won't. <laughs> it won't be long now, Sheridan. <laughs> Look, I asked you a simple question. When are you going to print the story? Tomorrow. The story will be front page news. Perfect. Teresa, will you take a look at Gwen over there? So? I mean, doesn't it seem like she's up to something? <sighs> Whitney, I mean, who cares? What can she do? Ethan and I are getting married tomorrow. And there's nothing that Gwen can do to change that. <laughs> Excuse me. Could I have a word with you, Mr. Uh, is it still Crane or? Uh, no, actually, it's Winthrop now. It's Jerry, isn't it? Uh, you're one of the Crane security guys? You've got a good memory. Uh, so what is it you want to see me about? I couldn't find your mother to tell her. Um... Tell her what? Well, this is just between the two of us. I'm, I'm sorry, but nobody else can know. Uh, yeah. uh, be over there. All right. Your mother gave me an assignment, and if Mr. Crane knew I was still working on it, he'd run me out of town. Oh, look, don't worry. Nobody's gonna say anything. That tabloid. They got wind of who it was who tipped him off. What? They know the identity? Got the person's name and everything. What are you doing? Working on my vows. It's like the 50th version, man. I just can't seem to get it right. How do you tell the woman you love everything you're feeling in your heart? Well, why don't you just try picturing Sheridan's face? You know, think about what she means to you and just put it down on paper. <laughs> Something funny, Father? I was just thinking about how brilliant our plan is. Putting poison on Sheridan's wedding ring. Her death will appear to be by natural causes. No one will suspect foul play, and even if someone did, it could never be traced back to us. I'm still uneasy about this. It will all be over soon, Julian. In fact, things could happen even more quickly than we'd planned. 
How do you mean? Assuming Sheridan still has the ring with her, she may be tempted to try it on, wear it for a while. And if she does, that will be it. She'll be dead tonight. I know everyone says it's bad luck to try the ring on before the wedding. But... Wouldn't it be worse if it didn't fit when Louise put it on my finger? I should at least make sure. I'm just gonna run over to the B&B &B and get some mice. wrong, Ivy. Oh, go away, Sam, please. Just go away. I don't want you to see me like this. I, I don't need you feeling sorry for me. Maybe if you talked about it, it might help. <laughs> right. What is there to talk about, Sam? My life is falling apart. Everything is falling apart. Oh, my family. You know, Sam, I, I honestly did think that when you found out that Ethan was your son, you would come back to me. Now I've lost you, too. Wow. Whoever sent that letter to the Dabolites, well, they did a good job. They destroyed my life. Who is it? Who sent that email? I don't have the name. All I know is the tabloid people do. Look, I want to find out who did this to me before I get married tomorrow. I, I want that name, Jerry. I don't think I can get it for you by tomorrow. I'll get it. Look, Ethan, man, I'm sorry for eavesdropping, but I already told you I'm going to try to help you out on this. This is a big story for the tabloid. I mean, they're guarding that name. Man, it's no matter to me. I got my ways. I will get the name of the person who sent that email, and that's all there is to it. Hey, it's my wedding present to you, remember? Chad, I don't want you getting yourself in trouble, all right? You will have the name of the punk who did this to you by morning. I figured you want to see this hot off the press. Oh, that's beautiful. And oh, when this hits the stands, it's going to kick up such a ruckus. <laughs> oh. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. I mean, my dream has come true. I'm going to marry Ethan tomorrow. <laughs> The love candle, it, it's out. I mean, it, if it doesn't burn to the end, it, it means that your love won't last forever. Teresa, I know the candle blew out, but that doesn't mean that your love isn't going to last forever. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ethan and I have a love that's so strong. Nothing can come between us. I know. I know. That's right, Teresa. The flame has been blown out, just like you're going to be blown out of the water. Someone be in terror. Who is it? Who's calling? Shh, shh. I'm listening.
Once the ring is on Sheridan's finger and the poison seeps into her bloodstream, she'll be dead. And this will finally be over. my life. You're my whole reason for being. From this moment on, you'll never be alone. You'll never be unhappy or afraid. You always know how deeply I love you, how deeply you are loved, and no matter what, I'll always be here for you. We both suffered painful losses. You lost your mother, and I lost my father. But together, we'll build a family of our own. A family of love and support. We will be together, Sheridan, till death do us part. And if you were to die, then I would die too. I'm gonna live my life without you. I'm gonna be able to go on.